up beast people, Tito's here and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Conquest Nuzlocke. So last episode we were able to conquer another kingdom of course, as we've been always doing, which was Avia, the last one that we conquered. And it was really easy one to be honest, I think the toughest one was Viperia because we actually lost Chiclipuff there and all that stuff, so if you missed that, all that out, make sure to check out the last two episodes where we conquered Viperia and Avia and today we're gonna go and try to conquer the last kingdom from these three, which is Yaksha, which is gonna be the dark type one, because from what it looks like, and it looks to be really strong, so we're gonna see what is gonna happen in this kingdom, and of course, as always, I already have my team ready, you guys can see here, I chose the six months that we're gonna use on this episode, I didn't grind, because it's not even needed, so I just chose the six Pokemons we're gonna use, which is basically gonna be these six, as you guys can see on the screen, it's gonna be Eevee, Galvantula, looks Ray, Gr Girder, Pig Knight, and Quagsire, and uh, all because they mostly are Fire, Ground, Fighting, and Bug, and those typings are all good for what we're gonna battle here, because here we have Dark, Ground, Steel, and uh, Flying, so having Luxury it's gonna be good in Galvantula, I guess, even though Galvantula is Bug type, it doesn't have a Bug move, I forgot about that, so... I don't know how much it's gonna help, but you know, it can at least hit everyone except the Crocodile. And for the Crocodile, we don't really have anything like specific, maybe Girder. Girder can hit the Crocodile, but that's it. But we're gonna be good, we're gonna be good, this is a good team. The strength power is amazing, almost 2k, which is really good. And I've been seeing you guys' comments, of course, I always see that, which I really appreciate. And. Uh, about the EV uh, evolution thing, you guys, uh, only a couple of you kind of commented about it, and I see that Aaron Hole on episode 10, he commented Glaceon, which is not a bad option, to be honest, and he even told me on episode 9 that he evolved it into a Glaceon to destroy Nobunaga, which is another thing that's interesting, because Nobunaga, of course, as we, it's, it's kind of hinted on the game, he has a Zekrom. So I suppose it's gonna be the dragon type, and Glaceon could be really good for that, so I don't know if you guys are up for that, but if you are to support the Glaceon idea, then just make sure to comment down below. If not, then tell me any other evolution apart from Jolteon, as I commented on the actual episode, because Jolteon, we already have two electric types, as you guys can see on the screen, so we don't really need more electric types, as much as I like Jolteon, but we don't need, so... I'm telling you guys, just vote for the evolution you like the most or you think it's the best for me to go for, and uh, yeah, just make sure to do that. And I know that Long Tom Huin, I think that's how you pronounce the name, I hope I didn't get it wrong again, <laughs> and uh, you've been really active, dude, like, I appreciate that so much. And uh, you said uh, go for Vaporeon or Umbre Umbreon. So that's another option there, go for a Vaporeon, could be cool, a water type, we don't have, so that could be a thing. And Umbreon, it's a dark type, I don't really see the use on Umbreon, so I would probably choose Vaporeon from both your choices. But uh, yeah, so just wanted to make sure that you guys know this early on the episode, is that you guys can comment down below for which evolution we go for Eevee, which I'm gonna wait until I unlock the the ice type kingdom and everything because of course we can only evolve Eevee there to a Glaceon in case you guys want me really to go to a Glaceon so so yeah you guys make sure to comment that down below on the comments and we're gonna get this started I guess and we're gonna stop talking and put a weird accent and uh, let's go into Yaksha let's get this started let's go battle we, we don't fear Yaksha so let's see I heard that lots of warriors in Yaksha use dark type Pokemon. Fighting type and book type attacks are effective against dark types, but psychic attacks are completely useless. Also, I don't really recommend taking a ghost type Pokemon with us. Yep, we don't have ghost types. I think that's another kingdom we need to unlock, would be the ghost. Yeah, I think what's left is like ghost, ice. Um, let me try to see. Ghost, ice, dragon. There should be more. I'm almost sure. Let us take our repetition or victory. I can't remember any other typings now. 
that we maybe need to like unlock. Maybe those three are the last ones at the top. Who knows? Let's see. The Kingdom of Yaksha. Kotaru. Man, this dude. Yo, he's ready to kill or something. Ha, so you are Tito's. Powerful enough to stand alongside Sinjin and Kenshin, so they say. It will make it all the more satisfying to destroy you. What? Tito's, you may be the source of great chaos in Ransei. But you are just a source of entertainment for me. Ooh, damn. This guy's dark for real. But we're good. We're stronger than him. We should be able to do this. Even though I don't trust the field, of course, because there could be traps, there could be anything, so yeah. And even less I trust, knowing this is a dark type field. Like, it's sinister. Tricky. I don't like it. And this is a lot all out battle, okay. So let's see, what is he gonna do? I hope you're ready for some genuine hospitality. I'll show you things you can't see anywhere else. Well, that's what I'm scared of, is that this field tells me that it's not cool. Why would it be so simple? It can't be that simple. I'm actually gonna wait. I'm gonna enter. And I'm gonna wait. Let's see, he moves. I'm not gonna move. If he wants to go past that that little ways on the water, then yeah, he, he can come because I am not going through there. Let me see, I gotta rearrange my team depending on how they are. Like their order, let's say. Okay, increases range. Okay, Zubat is on this side, so probably putting Luxor and Galvantula together would be cool. Even though I wanna see, where does Zubat reach? Okay, he couldn't reach all the way to Luxray. So I don't need to really move. Oh wait, I can move over here and attack the Zubat right away and body him. Bam! There we go. That's the Zubat out. No need to worry about that. Now, Girder, I need you for the ground type dude. So you need to move over here. And here we have... Okay. Scrafty. Hmm. I think I can leave all these here. Even though I can't leave the Zoroark alone. So I might as well do this. And Eevee, I guess you can wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm not gonna move a whole lot. Again, I don't wanna get into traps or anything crazy. I prefer him to come at me and attack me. Because we're, we're kind of good on what is like super effective typing and all that shit. So yeah. Ooh, night days. Oh, and lures accuracy. Are you serious? Okay. I like that crocodile to be closer because I think... Wait, r roulette? What? What? And why do you have to get all those items just for you? Like, screw you. And I still can't reach that cro uh, uh, this croc rock. Good thing this move is a dark type, actually, so we all can take hits from him. That is something good, I guess. Eventually, you're gonna attack... Wait, no, you can't. You can't do that yet. Or, wait, you can. If I do this. Yeah, you can attack the Zoroark. Bam! Now, do I really want to... I can't attack the Scraggy. God damn it. Let me move over here, I guess, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, Girder can't reach the Kruk the Krukurok, so I might as well go here. And do this? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Bam! Super effective. And now Luxray can actually go over here and attack the Zoroark. Ah, oh, it doesn't finish him off yet. Dang it. And we miss. That That's great. That is amazing. Love it. Uh, let me see, let me see. What can we do over here with these two? How much can you reach? You can reach there and there. You know what, buddy? Might as well do something crazy like this. Start doing some damage on this Krokorok, because... 
I don't want this thing to stay with a full HP, so get bodied there. And you can wait over here, because it's gonna get closer, and then you're gonna be able to attack. And might as well go with EV2, right? And do this. And buddy! Oh, we got a crit! Not even bad. No matter how much you struggle, people will continue to fight. Stopping Nobunaga will not change the way of the world. It's all just a waste of time. You won't know until you try, buddy. That's how I think. So... You're not gonna stop me from trying to make a peaceful world, or I don't even know, land? I, I don't know what is this, like, does this count as the whole world? I don't even know. But yeah. And let's see. Hmm. Yep, he's gonna get- Oh! Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, I didn't know he could reach that far, I should've checked. Please take that. Oh, he missed. Oh my goodness, Eevee. You're in such a trouble. Pig Knight, I need to body him. Why you don't... Oh, he's not a steel type, I forgot about that. Wait a second. Wasn't he supposed to have a Bisharp or whatever? It's there. Wow. Okay. Okay gotta think because I'm gonna use a potion yeah I'm gonna use a potion there's no way I need to heal up as much as I can and get the hell out of there nope this is too dangerous for Eevee shit what am I supposed to do now I can't reach with Girder to the other dudes, so... Might as well... 17! Oh my god, I can't do damage at all to that thing! Can you kill the Zerwark? Nope, you can't. You know what, I'm gonna defend Eevee. I might as well do that. As much as I don't really appreciate it, but I have to. Okay, high jump kick is not effective at this range because he needs two squares. So I should be good there. So I can just try and body this Zoroark? I think? Oh my lord, this is such a battle. Might as well stay here in case they move, so let me stay there. And you, Galvantra, you're gonna move here. You're gonna hit both of these. Bam! Okay, now. Quagsire, can you body at least as a work? Oh my god, it's all or nothing. Let's go, I'll try. Don't miss. Bam! There we go. Bodied. And you, sir, you're gonna try to burn this thing either way, so let's go. Bam! No burn. It's all good, though, it's all good. We got this. Okay, Galvantula can take that hit. Like, I could've healed up even with using your Oichi's ability. I could healed up more the Eevee, but I want to preserve that in case we lose more health. So, yeah. And he's gonna use high jump kick on the pig knight, come on. Oof, that still did a good amount, holy crap. Not that again! Oh, Eevee! Okay, actually, that's good for Eevee. Eevee gets the hell out of there. That's actually not too bad. Now, I can grab another item, true. Bam, another potion. Now, now, we're gonna see... Wait, if I throw you off, I might as well do it this way. And we're gonna do some damage over here. Let's go. Bam! And now, Big Knight. Wait, can I? Can you do something with your ability? Defense. No, we don't need defense. Let's just body this thing as much as we can. Bam! 
No, looks right, looks right. Okay, Galventral, you need to get the hell out of there. So you attack this one. Bam. Now, looks right, you're gonna go over here. You're gonna thunder that Scrafty. Scrafty is such a threat. Oh, get paralyzed. Let's go. Yes. And now, you body that Scraggy. Real quick. Boom. And we're good now. Okay. Let's see. You're in big trouble, that is true. Oh my lord, he still does so much. Okay. And he's gonna... Wow. Attack the Quagsire, really? Quagsire is bulky? He ain't taking your shit, bruh. I'm sorry, but no. Okay, let's see. Eevee, you're still here. Wow, we're just gonna grab all these items, because why not? These are potions. Now, what should I do? I know Quagsire. You're not gonna get affected, so I might as well do this. Yeah, I can do this. Body all of you. Then, after, with my discharge, true? Or, wow, I can't reach. I should have checked that. I'm stupid. <laughs> Lol. Well, I guess I'm gonna go here and discharge these two. Okay, that's a good amount of damage, I would say. Oh! Bodied! Bodied Scraggy! And the other one gets paralyzed, not even bad. Now... Girder, you're actually gonna... Yep, you're gonna body that Krokorok, there's no way. Let's go. Oh! What?! I miss! You gotta be kidding me. Body that thing, come on, Pig Knight. Bam! Bodied! Get out! That stupid high jump kick. Get out of here. Now you... You're gonna fight that thingy over there with the thunder and we're almost done here this is good like we're good okay as long as you don't kill me yep you can't there's no way hopefully girder doesn't miss again because that would be really annoying so let's see Eevee you're still there so might as well keep grabbing these items true and now, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, what can I reach? Well, you know, oh, he flinched. He can't even heal up. Girder, you might, you might as well not miss. Legit. There we go. God damn it! Get bodied, one shot it. Girder is powerful. Holy crap! Now we're actually gonna grab some items as we can because we're about to win this. And let me see, so... Uh, you can't really body him right away. Can you body him one shot? Yes, you can. So I might as well, as I was saying, grab item. And body that thing. And we won! That's it! Bam! Get bodied! And we got the Aksha. Not even bad! That was quite easy. I, just, I was just scared of the field, legit, because it seemed too simple for me, and you we all know how this game has traps and all that stuff, and that would not be cool, to be moving around and get on traps and everything, so yeah. And of course they gone off somewhere, because they're all Nobunaga's people, so... Ha! If only for a moment, you kept me entertained. Your impending battle with Nobunaga, the thought of it excites me more than I expected. Farewell. That sounds pretty ominous. I guess Nobunaga's army is full of people like him. I mean, the other people weren't so ominous, to be honest. I think that's just characteristic from the Dark Type Kingdom. True. So, yeah. Pig Knight, what's happening to you? Oh! No! We're having an Embor. Yo, that is powerful. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Looks powerful. Yo, what is this move? Did he, does he learn like Flare Blitz? Yo, that's insane. That's insane. And oh, Mitsuhide. For impressive, it would appear that no one has yet been able to match you. Okay. 
I heard that someone was attempting to oppose Lord Nobunaga. I decided to come and see for myself who would be so foolish. I am here to inform you that your current course of action will lead only to defeat. And, and therefore, I suggest that you abandon this fully. What? I am not doing that. That was Mitsuhide, one of Nobunaga's closest aides. There are three of them in total, and they guard his remaining three kingdoms. They're going to be tough opponents, so let's brace ourselves for battle, Lord Tito's. So there's three kingdoms in Nobunaga. That's basically four kingdoms in total. Oh my god! That's insane! Okay. Our team looks so powerful with that Ambor. I need to see what he learned. I need to see what is his move. How much percentage does he have? Okay, he still has 20% more to go. And of course he has the Whirly Peed that goes to 100, which is good. Let me see. Oh my god, look at the move Fire Blast! Yo, he hits like all those square... Yo, Ambor is a beast. And yo, his icon looks powerful. I love it. Oh my god, this thing is a monster. This thing is a monster. I'm not even. Yo, know, that's not even bad. Let's see. Oh, they're here. So, Valora. Oh, Steel! We didn't fight Steel types. So, that's the other typing. Yep, and there's Ghost, as we said before. And then there's the Ice type. So, we need to train Eevee here to be able to go for Glaceon. If you guys want me to do that. So that's what we need to. Next storm, Valora and uh, Spectra. Okay, so Spectra can attack these two. You can attack only this one, and this one can't attack any. Like next storm is out there. So I would guess Nobunaga's uh, kingdom is here, these mountains, because dragon. So yeah, that would make sense. Holy crap! This is amazing. How much we made progress, like, it's crazy. Holy crap. So I guess these are like the last kingdoms, so this series won't last for too much longer, I would say. Which is good, because I already have on the works my next series and everything, so that's gonna be a lot of hype. But yeah, for now we're gonna still focus on this, we still have the worst part to come, which all this, like, look at the strengths, 2k, almost 2k. 1890. Wow, I wasn't able to read for a moment. So I would say, I would say, I don't know which one should be the best for us to go because Steel type is kind of scary. Steel types, what do we really have for Steel types? We don't really have a whole lot. So I don't know if we should go for Ghost first because Ghost, it's kind of, I mean, meh. Girder will not be able to fight ghost types, so that's a thing. And you can't bring the psychic type ones, because nope, those will get all screwed up. So that's gonna be good that's gonna be interesting, I guess. Steel types, you kinda have two fire types that are good. And again, if you guys vote for a Flareon on this video, then Flareon could be really freaking good. Because we don't really have too many fire types, we just have two. Even though Ambor, oh my god, Ambor is gonna destroy here. I might as well try and go for Valora. So yeah, I'm gonna end off the episode here, guys. And uh, of course, as always, I will choose the team, get it ready here on Avia to go for uh, for Valora. So next episode, we're gonna try and attack Valora. So hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to fire punch like button down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So, stay beast. See ya.